Residents who paid for permit parking on one Toronto street say they can't find parking and they say a recent decision by the city could make things much worse. Ilda Martins lives on a small stretch of Roxton Road off Dundas Street West, close to the bustling Ossington Avenue. I love this neighborhood. I don't think I will ever leave. The problem, though... We're here an hour and a half waiting for parking. And she has a parking permit. Years ago, she asked the city to establish a one-hour limit for non-permitted parking, which they did. But now the city is installing parking meters, reverting back to the three-hour limit. This should have been brought up with the residents. That's 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 not right. But Councillor Diane Sack who represents Martin's ward has this to say about the soon to be activated meter. In fact, that's good news for you because it should mean less competition for your parking spots. Sachs says the meter with many more to come on other side residential streets in busy areas across the city is meant to help residents where there's currently free parking. Uh, especially because we've just increased the parking fees and the parking fines. So we're expecting to see an increase in compliance. Which Sachs says will hold drivers accountable. You get somebody who goes there, parks for free, leaves their vehicle and occupies it all day long. Um, and that... Uh, that isn't good for everybody else. Those with permits won't have to pay the meter, but still, Martins doesn't think the meter will solve her parking woes. Let's put a parking meter here, and, and yeah. hopefully this will resolve the issue. Right. It won't, because the parking is three hours. Sachs looked into it based on our request, and she was told by the parking authority that three hours is standard, but... They are happy to monitor, and it's... Uh, not difficult to change the settings to reduce the maximum stay if it turns out that this isn't reducing parking conflicts. So I have asked them to please monitor in this area and and let us know. As always, if you have an issue, story, or question you'd like us to look into, reach out by visiting the Speaker's Corner tab on the City News website. Pat Taney, City News.